Yes, life is sacred. Matter is sacred. The world is sacred. You are sacred. Part of the dysfunction of civilization has come because we've exported sacredness onto something other than each other, the world, matter, life, the river, the ocean, the mountain, the forest, the trees, the whales. We got to actually hold matter sacred and become, I like to say, we need to be more materialistic and not treat matter as something inconsequential and not inherently valuable. Our civilization treats it as instruments of our utility, not as something with inherent worth of itself, but only its use value. And that gives us license to treat it as, you know, nothing but a bunch of resources. And that also makes us feel alone here. Like when we, when we don't recognize that we're among other sacred living beings, then we've rendered ourselves alone. And this goes to the root, to the core of scientific ideology in which underneath all of these appearances of life, there's nothing but atoms and void. Generic building blocks in different permutations, that's it. At bottom, there's nothing sacred, nothing intelligent, nothing conscious. That despair infuses our whole civilization and drives an endless escapism, mm. which is deeply related to not feeling at home here. There's a whole tower built on this that that ends up with you know political polarization and the medical you know med biosecurity state and uh, the conspiracy theories that you mentioned, where you know it's Count Chocula who's at the root of it all, like this mentality of us versus them, good versus evil, conquest, domination. Of course, there must be a bad guy because things don't just happen by themselves. There's no intelligence in the world. So if bad things are happening, then it must be a bad guy who, who, who does it. I'd like to draw together all of these threads just to give a sense of how thorough the transition is that we face. That we are, as, you're, as you were kind of saying, like we're standing at the brink of an, inc of, of, a, of an incredible transformation. And it's not a guarantee, but it, like we're not going to be, I don't think we're going to be rescued from having to make a choice about what world we want to live in. But we have an opportunity to choose a more beautiful one.